Thanks a bunch, Stephanie. You may love your games on Facebook. Apps are just as popular there as they are on smartphones, but every time you download one, you open up your information to others. Some are legitimate businesses, but others can be dangerous. Fox 19 tech expert Dave Hatter is here to show us how we are for sale on Facebook and also what you need to know before you download that app. This is shocking stuff. It's, you know, it's, it's not necessarily bad, but it's mo shocking to most people because they don't even realize this kind of thing is a possibility. And, and as you mentioned, whether it's a mobile app or a Facebook app or whatever, that's their whole business model. People don't sit around and go, I love to program. I think I'll write lots of software for free. <laughs> They're trying to figure out how to capitalize and commercialize this stuff. And in many ways, the simplest way to do it is, I'll give you the software, mm -hmm. and you're going to give me your information, and I'm going to do whatever I want. Is with. that what apps are really for? Is it for um, that? Not always, but in many cases. A lot of times, legitimate businesses are creating apps because they want you to use their service or whatever. So you know, they'll give it to you because you're going to utilize their service, exchange your funds, et cetera. It's all good, right? But in some cases, yeah, the whole purpose of the thing basically is they want to collect your personal information because they know there's a giant market for this kind of information because you're telling people all kinds of stuff about yourself that's valuable to marketers. And they would say, well, we tell you when you say you want to download the app, we yeah. ask you if you're really sure and we give you a warning, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. And how many people really read that text, right? I don't think anybody. Usually it's they? written in uh, lawyerese, it's a bunch of mumbo jumbo, it goes on for pages and pages. They know that even if you read it, you probably can't understand it, and they're aware of habituation, right? The fact yeah. that they know. You become desensitized yeah, to it, right? Nothing bad happens when you do it, so you just click the, yeah, sure, I'll accept this. And I mean, I do this myself. Mm -hmm. I do this for a living, and I understand this <laughs> stuff, and I still do it anyway because it's too painful. Well, you found this example of uh, a danger that came up recently for, for young women. It was an iPhone app called Girls Around Me app. Tell me what yeah, happened. And, and it tapped into Foursquare. Foursquare, if you don't know, is a social media platform where, it, it, and Facebook has a similar feature where you go somewhere and you say, I'm here. Right. So you basically are broadcasting where you are all the time. So this thing could tap into that information and basically say, okay, what women are around me based on their four square check-ins? Yeah, it's, it's kind freaky. of a weird thing and it, it immediately kind of backfired on the, the organization that made it. And there's another interesting story. If you Google this, you'll find where someone used Twitter in Japan. They went to the most concentrated place in Tokyo and were able to find people based on their Twitter posts and would like show up and say, hey, I found you from oh. Twitter. Yeah, so, you know, this stuff, it's not necessarily bad, but you have to understand the risks. You have to understand that you are giving away a lot of information about yourself. So should we stop? Well, not necessarily. If you mm -hmm. understand the risks, you know, you can mitigate what kind of information you're putting out there. You can limit who can access this stuff. But you always got to remember, you really don't have any privacy at the end of the day. And you are signing a contract essentially by accepting these things that gives these folks permission to use your information and potentially sell it to other organizations. So you can't really control even where it ends up. Yeah, we have a really good story about this connected to the interview that Dave and I just did at fox19.com. It's right on the homepage. And I also have Dave's link for Libertas Technologies at fox19.com in the big red box. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.